Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter and welcome to my top 5 weapon series from Monster Hunter Generations. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 favorite insect glaives. Note that in Monster Hunter Generations, there are dozens of final form weapons that cover everything you can possibly want, from every element to slots, no slots, good sharpness, bad sharpness, you name it. So finding the best of the best is actually an impossible task. These are just the personal favorites that I used and I really enjoyed, so if you're having any trouble coming up with some end game goals, maybe this can give you a hint. Go ahead and let me know down in comments which weapons that you found to be your favorite to give everybody else some more choices. Okay, let's jump in. I suppose it sounds like a broken record at this point, but the Hellblade Glavinous weapons are awesome. This is the Ashen Helldate. It's got 200 attack, 5% affinity, and 30 blast, and for a weapon that hits as often as Insect Glaive, 30 blast is quite literally a blast. Seriously, it's a great all-around weapon, although you might need to pair it with Razor Sharp in order to make sure you don't lose all that white. People often ask me what are my favorite monsters in Monster Hunter, and one of my favorites is Alatreon, so when I found out that they made a glaive for it, I was ecstatic. It looks really good, especially when paired with the female Hermitor Deviant set, and the abilities are off the wall. It's 180 attack, a little on the lower end, but it's super long white sharpness from default. 28 dragon and 2 slots, making it super versatile for a whole range of sets. Seriously, go and make it once you unlock it. And next up is one you may not actually think about, but this is the Azure Bayonet. This is the final form of the Velocidrome weapon. And it's the king when it comes to blunt or bludgeoning, which is the skill that gives you attack up medium for very little cost as long as you have green sharpness. 230 attack with 3 slots makes this probably one of the best all around glaives in the entire game. And next up is yet another weapon that uses the bludgeoning skill. This is the Ukanlos Sky Traveler. It's got a massive 260 attack, minus 30% affinity, 20% defense boost, and 10% ice for fun. But if you make the final form of the Speed Kinsect, anytime you grab White Extract, you get plus 30% affinity. So without having to worry about armor skills, you can already negate the negative affinity, which makes this a very, very good weapon, especially when you're going out to just bludgeon things to death. And I'm not even going to embarrass myself in front of my French followers and try to pronounce this correctly, but this is the final form of the Shagaru Magara weapon. Um, this weapon is really good. Sorry I don't have an image from this game. This is from 4U, I believe. But it's 170 attack, 25% affinity, 37 dragon, and 2 slots. So it's definitely versatile. If you're going up against a monster who's weak against dragon, this or the Alatreon are definitely the ones that you want to grab. And now on to some final honorable mentions, and these two, honestly, they belong in the top 5, so it's more like a top 7. First up is the Deviant Nargakuga, the Morning Calm. 190 attack, 15% affinity, and nice long white from default. This is more than enough to do, and the design of the weapon looks really badass. I don't know if I can say that on my channel, I don't swear on here, but yeah, it's badass. Really great. And the final mention has to go to the Highest Glaive, which is 170 attack, 24 paralysis, and 3 slots. It's definitely not a solo weapon you're going to be doing with 170 attack, but if you're going online, this is a super good support weapon, because with 24 paralysis and 3 slots, if you pair this with like the Dread Queen uh, Raytheon set, you're going to be doing paralysis for days. It's going to be great. Awesome weapon, go ahead and make it. Let us know down in comments below which insect glaives you like. Again, there are tons of good insect glaives, especially if you're into the elemental types, like the Kushala Daora is also a very good ice one. Um, but let us down below which ones you like the most, and hopefully we can spread some more interesting weapons that people can aim for. I hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Generations as much as I am, and until next time, happy hunting.